With the last of the Space Marine supplements on their way, I think it's time for the Sons of Dorne to fortify this position. Let's paint an Imperial Fist's Space Marine. On the table this time is a Primaris Intercessor. The model has been built using the standard multi-part plastic Intercessor's kit, as well as the Imperial Fist's upgrade sprue, which provided the raised shoulder pad details and the Imperial Fist keychain hanging off his belt. And as you can see, this guy has already been based, and it was extremely easy to do. I used Wraithbone Primer, followed up with Yandin Yellow Contrast Paint through an airbrush. The tone is nice and rich, and extremely smooth for a yellow scheme. If you don't have an airbrush, a standard brush serves the purpose, and it will provide a grittier look, which will complement any weathering work. The first step will be to apply our black tones to the joints, pouches, and gun casing, and most importantly, the shoulder trim because 5th Company is the best company. I will be using Abbott on Black, followed up by a buildup of Eschen Grey and Griffin Blue. I recommend to take your time with this process, so as not to ruin that nice base coat and bring dishonor on your family. I'll be doing the Aquila in Black as well, mostly because I think it enhances the scheme, but it's also neat that it's more evocative of Heresy Era Imperial Fists. Next, we're on to the metallics. I'll be using Iron Warriors. Funny, I know, but the darker paint works better for the Imperial Fist scheme, giving them that grittier Siege Specialist look. Pour yourself a glass of something, because it's time to paint the eye lenses and do some freehanding. I'll be using a base coat of Mordian Blue, then layering up with Lothurn Blue and using Baroth Blue for the brightest points. First we'll paint the whole lens in our dark color, Mordian Blue. The next step will be to build up our medium tones towards the bottom of the lens. And then finally, use the brightest tone towards the very bottom and the dark corner of the eye lenses. Freehanding is something I'm striving to improve upon. So bear with me as I stumble through this and correct the errors along the way. And with that, this is looking fairly satisfactory. Finally, we are ready for our washes. And on a light color scheme like this, they're gonna make a huge difference. The first wash will be a one-to-one-to-one -one -one mix of Gnome Oil, Agrax Earthshade, and Lamian Medium. These will be for our armor components. The metal areas will be done in a plain null oil wash. Adding the medium will prevent the wash from being too aggressive, but still take care to make sure the recesses are the only areas which are being affected drastically. Alright, and we're back with this wash dry and we can see all the work it's done. His armor is looking really great with all the details the wash brought out. The next step will be to add some weathering to this guy. I'll start by evenly mixing Eschen Grey and Rhinox Hide, which will be applied with a sponge. 
I'm a little hesitant to go overboard on this kind of stuff. Follow the rule of less is more and build up the wear gradually. Keeping in mind the areas being closer to the ground would have a heavier buildup. This will be followed up by something weird. One of those moments where you gotta be brave, I suppose. I'll be mixing a 1 to 1 to 2 ratio of Rhinoxide, Eschen Grey, and Lamian Medium. The idea here is to achieve an effect similar to what a concrete or urban weathering powder would provide. To add that lived in feel to the model. And with the weathering done, I'm ready to begin the edge highlighting phase. I'll be using a mix of Uriel Yellow and White Scar for the armor, and Mechanica Standard Grey for the black tones, and Runefang Steel on the major metal areas. Nothing fancy here. Just take your time and keep your paints thin and your brush hydrated. Also be mindful not to edge light the weathered areas to the same intensity, as it'll look bizarre and worsen the effect. And with that, and all that's left to do is base them. This Imperial Fist Intercessor is now ready to follow the legacy of his Primarch, defending the Imperium of Man from the horrors of the grimdark future. Thanks for watching. I had a ton of fun painting this model, and I hope you guys found it enjoyable. Also, I want to give a quick thanks to all my recent subscribers. Reaching 500 is a major milestone that means a great deal to me. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to support this channel, consider subscribing. And if you have any suggestions for future Let's Paint videos, or any questions about this model, ask away. Thanks again for watching, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next one.